Listen to this. Imagine losing a precious memento and having it returned 30 years later, all thanks to the kindness of a stranger. News 8's Sarah Cody tells us how this touching mystery was solved. I know I had the college ring at one point, and then all of a sudden it wasn't there. It was, it was gone. I, I didn't know where I lost it, how I had lost it. But John Rubsom's wife, Rosemary, remembered the day the ring went missing. I mean, it's 30 years ago, so one of, our, one of us is slipping. I don't remember. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew we lost it the, when we were chopping down the Christmas trees. Then we oh. forgot about it, because what are you going to do? Three decades pass, then enter Tim yeah. Dumas. I was cleaning uh, uh, the upstairs of my parents' house. Who recently inherited this Christmas tree farm in Durham. And just sorting through old paperwork and, and memorabilia, and I came across this... St. Louis University college ring. They figure the ring was lost out here amongst the 20,000 Christmas trees. Perhaps it came off with a glove or maybe Rubson set it down when he used a saw. It lived in lost and found until Dumas took initiative and logged onto his computer. He poured through St. Louis University yearbooks until he matched the initials etched on the ring with the name of a student in the class of 1979. I was brought up that way. If somebody lost something on our farm and you had the ability to do a little bit of searching to try and find the owner, you, were, you really feel obligated to do that. It smells old. Can you smell that? Yeah. <laughs> he Googled John Rubsom and found Rosemary on Facebook a few weeks ago. I just couldn't believe it. I was like smiling ear to ear. Rubsom traveled to the farm that very day to reclaim his ring. He hasn't taken it off since he got it. It, you know what's impressive? It still fits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Branford optometrist vows he won't lose the ring again because it now conjures up so many memories of a great college experience and a stranger who went the extra mile. It was a feel-good situation. It just made you feel good. It kind of restores your faith that there's a lot of good people out there. Sarah Cody, News 8.